some of the pictures around there show the after school program, because that's what we do, after school program as kids get out of school, they can come right here. I am John G. Smith. I'm an employee of East Arkansas Youth Services. I'm the general man manager of Boys to Men and Girls to Women. I came to work at East Arkansas Youth Services almost 30 years ago. And it seems like that we um, have always been, had to fight for reforms in this system. When it comes to securing uh, major reforms of a system like the juvenile justice system, sometimes it takes, um, it takes years to get, uh, to, uh, to get it done. You're dealing with uh, very difficult, complex issues uh, that have been around for definitely decades here, and it's an evolution. Everyone saw a need in, in every aspect of the system. And the research is pretty uh, clear that once you lock kids up, especially for extended periods of time, and especially if you do it in solitary confinement, oftentimes they come out of the system worse off than when they went in. In the past, when the legislature met, sometimes we were at odds with each other. You, you have people that uh, care a lot about an issue and sometimes personalities get involved and people get passionate um, and get sometimes entrenched in their own positions. Uh, it makes it very, very difficult. So we agreed to come up with a common uh, legislative package and part of that was the governor saying, I want this to be part of my package and I need a proposal that you can all support. I mean, really got folks to the point where over the past two years, we really did meet regularly to really try and come up with a comprehensive approach uh, that, ever, uh, that everybody could agree to um, and that everybody would support during the legislative session. The perfect storm happened. You had the right people with the right uh, motivations and right interests come to the table and, and that's why we we were able to see success uh, this particular time versus other times. Getting the reform legislation passed was a huge step forward for juvenile justice reform and for kids in Arkansas. This provides a legislative foundation for real reform. It, it, it's not a quick fix but we hope it's a longer lasting fix. And a lot of the hard work occurs after you get a major reform bill passed because it's gotta be implemented. And that, I mean, that takes a lot of time to kind of monitor what's going on, making sure things are being done correctly, making sure the resources are in place, and making sure that people just don't forget about the issue once you get a major bill passed. Usually foundation dollars cannot be used during a legislative session for things like lobbying. So that's why uh, donations from individuals are so critically important because they, because they give us the capacity in the months right before a legislative session, during a legislative session, to do a lot of the key work that needs to be done on, um, on an issue like juvenile justice report. You know, there has to be somebody that's always fanning, fanning the flame, so to speak, for reform. Uh, and I know Rich Helson was, was great at doing that. It takes leadership uh, to do it. I think we've, we've uh, been fortunate to have that here in Arkansas. The fact that Arkansas Advocates continues to support juvenile justice is admirable and extremely important to our efforts. You need organizations like Arkansas Advocates and, and uh, we're very thankful and blessed to have them. We are serious about it and we do care about it, and these young people are important to us. They should be important to us.